Welcome to 6C Morning Coffee, the show about everything happening at the 6C Technical Symposium. From Dayton, Ohio, I'm Larry Merkel. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, I'm Pam Cutter. Today we are excited to have some guest, special guest host for you this morning. Well, that was fun. Thanks, friends. So today's Friday, and we should take a look at the schedule and see what's going on today. So at 1 p.m., we have technical sessions starting again. At 3 o'clock, our exhibit hall opens. Make sure you visit our exhibitors from all of our great supporters. Um, Larry, maybe. Six, you may six. even be able to find Larry in the, in the 2022 booth. Um, That's right. It's the last chance to vote on the logo. Yes, it is. Get those votes in. Then at four o'clock, we have more posters. Um, see what your colleagues are doing. Check them, check them out. And at 8 p.m. tonight, we have more technical sessions. And one of the, the best paper for curriculum initiatives in the security session, it will be happening. So some good stuff today. Hope to see you at many of the sessions. Looks like a great day. And a big thank you to all of our sponsors for supporting the conference, for giving us new ideas of things to do in our classrooms. We really appreciate your support and glad you're here with us. And so then after the break, we are coming back with our interviews today. Larry, do you know who we're interviewing today? Uh, some guy, he's the gonna be the senior chair for the technical symposium in 2022. Do you and not know then... who it is? Some guy, uh, and then and then uh, it's actually a double header, and the other person is going to be Judy Sheard, who's the senior program co chair for uh 2022. Right, and for those of you who don't know who some guy is, it's Larry. So, our interviews today are with, with our senior chairs for the symposium, so senior symposium chair Larry Markle and our senior program chair Judy Sheard. So Come back and enjoy our interviews with them. Learn about 2022 and things that they hope to accomplish. Welcome back. Joining us now from Dayton, Ohio, is Larry Merkel, the 2022 Senior Symposium Chair. Larry, welcome to Sigsy Morning Coffee. How are you today? I'm doing well, Pam. I feel like I've been on 60 Morning Coffee before. I'm not quite sure why I feel that way. <laughs> well, how does it feel now to be the interviewee instead of the interviewer? A little weird to tell you the truth, but we'll see where this goes. <laughs> well, we are happy to have you, Larry. Um, many of us um, have seen you as part of the registration team for a number of years now. Um, in fact, can you tell us how many years exactly? So I helped out unofficially with registration in 2003 when uh, the meeting was in Reno. Uh, that was my first year working at Rose Holman. And of course, Rose handled the registration uh, back then. Yeah. Um, and then I joined the team officially the next year. And I did it every year up until this one. Yes. yes wow, 2003. That was, that was my first 60. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't quite my first 60. Uh, my first one was in Charlotte. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, the next one was in Northern Kentucky. And that's when I interviewed with Rose. Okay. Okay. Now, how does that help you say make a jump 
uh, to symposium chair, which you know you you are this year and you will be again uh, next year. Uh, so thanks for that question. Uh, working registration, you get to interact with uh, people across the committee, both the the program committee and the organizing side of the committee. Uh, and including working closely with the symposium chairs. So over that period of time, I uh, got involved in conversations about, you know, facilities and uh, scheduling and all sorts of things that the symposium chairs need to be aware of and, and have a good handle on. So the, the registration is great preparation for that. Yeah. Sounds like it. So thinking next year, 2022, Providence, Rhode Island, any changes you see, new ideas? What do you foresee the symposium is going to look like in 2022? Hmm. I thought maybe uh, we'd meet in person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, that's, that's the uh, big difference from 2021, uh, of course. Uh, although we will almost certainly have some sort of hybrid component. So we had already, before the pandemic, been talking about the need to be able to participate in the symposium remotely uh, because people couldn't travel, either they couldn't afford it or they just weren't comfortable coming to the United States. And so we were looking into ways for people to be able to present remotely. And uh, now that now that we're experiencing a fully virtual symposium, it seem, seems like a missed opportunity to go back on that. So we're going to try to learn from what we've been doing here in 2021 and incorporate as much of what makes sense as possible into the 2022 symposium. Of course, the bigger challenge uh, as compared to participating remotely is being able to remotely watch activities that are happening on site. Uh, plenaries, that's easy. You, you, uh, you're already, you've already got the person on camera and uh, with the audio, so you just need to figure out how to stream that. And we've actually done that before, uh, as far back as at least 2008. However, when you're talking about uh, the number of parallel sessions that we have, that could, that could get cost prohibitive. So we need to figure out how to strike a balance there. And then there's also the question of how do we get the interaction uh, among the participants who are both on site and distributed virtually. So that's a little bit of a puzzle that we're going to figure out. Right. That seems like that's going to be the tricky, the tricky piece. So, yeah. So thinking about 2022, um, you guys have been showing some, you know, giving at the symposium right now. Right, you've got some things that people can do towards 2022, like local? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, we have a number of positions on the committee already filled. We have uh, junior, senior roles in a lot of the tracks. And so the folks who are serving the junior positions for 2021 have all agreed to uh, step up and take the senior roles as, as planned for 2022, uh, most of the junior roles are still available. So uh, a short while ago, we distributed an email asking for uh, people to express interest in serving in those positions. And those are both on the organizing side and on the program side. So uh, whatever is interesting to people, they can uh, respond to that email. Uh, of course, if they have questions, they can reach out to us, either the symposium chairs or the program chairs or the people who have the senior roles in those tracks uh, among uh, a host of other people that could probably tell them about what's involved. And we need, we need people. And uh, hopefully we'll get some fresh blood in. One of the things that uh, Sig C prides itself on is its diversity, but it's hard to maintain that unless we have new people uh, joining the committee, the uh, conference committees and the board and so on. So if you haven't been involved before, this is a great opportunity. And, and, there's, and there's, there's lots of ways, 
you know, even with committee roles, there's some that, you know, involve more work than others. There's ways to sort of get your feet wet and see if you like it in some of the, some of the different roles. So I'm sure Larry would be happy to, you know, if you're not sure what the different roles are, you know, send a note to Larry and say, what, what are these positions? What do you have? What are the responsibilities for these different positions? Yes. Uh, uh, and not just to me. So there are uh, two symposium chairs. I'm the senior symposium co-chair. Maureen Doyle is the junior symposium co-chair. And we can be reached at symposium at 60-2022.org. Uh, there are three program co-chairs and they can be reached at program at 60-2022.org. Or you can reach all of us at chairs at 60-2022.org. And any of us would be happy to answer any questions. Cool. Yeah, and some of these roles, um, again, uh, the symposium is taking place and happens because of all the volunteers that take place, that participate, right? Um, so it's really important to have people in those roles. And that's also how, you know, somebody can, uh, get to the more important roles, I suppose, is to start um, within that committee. That's right. So uh, probably not a, a great idea to uh, volunteer to be symposium co-chair if you've never been to the conference. Uh, but there, there are plenty of ways to get involved. And I'd like to add, uh, yes, it's the, it's the volunteers on the committee that uh, make the conference happen. But there wouldn't be a point in having a conference if it weren't for all the authors. So uh, along with volunteering, don't forget to you know, submit your, your best CS or computing education research. And details Thanks. about that are in the call for participation. Great, great, perfect. And um, there is our logo yet? Or what's going on with uh, 6022? Well, at the moment, we have three logos. Uh, and there's a contest going on to decide which one will survive. So uh, there are a couple of different ways that, that you can vote, but the best way is to drop by the 60 2022 booth in the exhibit hall, if you will. And there's a link that will let you see the three candidate logos and vote on them. And we'll be uh, unveiling that at the closing ceremony. So uh, there's not a lot of time to waste there. It's been great speaking with you. It's good talking with you too. <laughs> you can see how much experience we have now in morning coffee. At, uh, right. Such a smooth transition between program co-chairs and symposium co-chairs. Um, talk over uh, each other. <laughs> it's like we can read each other's mind, really. It's, it's, it's been that, you know, especially with Pam and I, where we've been at it for two years now. So it's, yeah. it's that good. Yeah. You finish each other's sentences before the other one even starts them. Right? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> it's been great having you. Um, and uh, keep voting for that logo. Yes. Uh, Excited to see and, it, it. and it has been fantastic working with the two of you uh, over this past year. And uh, I got to work with you a little bit more closely than I normally would have uh, on registration for 2020. Uh, it was it was good to have <laughs> such great people to work with through that experience. Yeah. Indeed. Yep. And we're back with more morning coffee. Joining us now from Melbourne, Australia, is Judy Sheard. She's an associate professor at Monash University and the upcoming senior program chair. Judy, welcome to Sixty Morning Coffee. How are you today? I'm great, thanks, Alvaro and Pam. It's good to see you. That's good great. And, and is, it, is it good morning, afternoon, or evening for you? It's, it's morning. It's just morning, yes. And so we're, um, uh, we're fine for morning coffee here. I don't As know where you are <laughs> as it should be for morning coffee it's morning everywhere people Come right on. okay yeah coffee. yeah <laughs> um so the three of us were program chairs this past year and uh well what a time we had didn't we um 
Yeah, it was amazing, um, an amazing amount of work. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I learned a lot from you too, <laughs> an awful lot. Uh, I've got a lot okay. of emails left. <laughs> Can you start by sharing with the viewers um, who the other program co-chairs will be with you this coming year? Okay, so we've got two new people coming on. Lynn Kiatso from the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, and Brian Dawn from the University of Nebraska in Omaha. So both from Nebraska. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they've come on board. And we've already started meeting, so we're we're quite excited about what will happen next year. Whatever it will be, we'll be fine. <laughs> we know how to do on uh, the um, the in person, and we'll know how to do the the online. So, and maybe we can do both. You know, so yeah, we'll be Great. fine. So, talking about the program committee, so you've got two new members coming on board with you. Pretty soon you'll be recruiting reviewers in APCs. When can someone mm -hmm. sign up or how do they sign up? What's the process there? We'll be going back to the reviewers from last year and approaching them and we'll and APCs as well. And we'll also be advertising. So we really love to get new people on board and give people the opportunity to do this, this work and contribute in this way. It's it's a great experience. Reviewing is a is 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 a wonderful thing to do because you you get to um, really see what other people are are writing about, and you get a a chance to give people feedback on their work. It's not just about selecting the papers, but it's giving them feedback on on their work. Uh, so it's a actually a really it's a really great thing to be involved in. So do reviewers have the option of specifying like what they want to review for when they sign up? Yes, we have three tracks and they'll choose the track. Some people say, I don't mind what track, other people very specific and we try and accommodate that. Um, so there are the three paper tracks, but there's also other things like posters and panels and uh, um, nifty and workshops and there's about seven other activities that people can review for. Yeah, good. And of course, there can be reviewing if there aren't authors submitting papers. Um, right, yes. Can you so, talk to us about what our viewers should be paying attention to with regards to um, deadlines to submit um, so that okay. they are preparing their manuscripts? Right. So. Just want everyone to keep in mind that um, the symposium next year will be two weeks earlier. So all the deadlines have been pulled back two weeks. So uh, this year, I think the deadline was late August, but the deadline for, for the symposium next year will be um, two weeks earlier. So please um, keep a lookout for all the notices that come out. And really start writing, start writing now to get ready. And uh, yeah. so then reviewing would then start right around that August, September timeframe for the first After the, yes. Yeah, so, so reviewing would be in August, September. Yes. To summarize, conclude, what should the viewers be thinking about at this point? Well, they should be looking forward to the sessions that they're going to be going to and um, uh, there's a whole range of things at the symposium that they can attend and really having a look and making sure that they they engage with all the different opportunities they've got at this event. Um, the engagement is different. I, I ran a, um, I was co-chair for a conference earlier this year and it was online and I was quite worried beforehand because I didn't know how it would go online. Um, it was our Australasian Computing Education Conference. But it was actually quite um, the engagement in some ways was more intense than, um, than it is in face-to-face. In -face. And, uh, and we actually found that people were attending, they were um, 
and staying for the session and really asking lots of questions. We had lots more questions than you'd have face-to-face. So we found the, the level of engagement was quite high. It was different, but still quite high. So um, I hope people find that at this symposium. Mm-hmm. Well, Judy, uh, it, it was a lot of work this year. Being program co-chair is always um, comes with its challenges. Um, I am confident that you, uh, Brian and Linkiat will do a great job. Um, and for anybody watching this, make sure you get those papers ready, start writing, um, make sure you know what the deadlines are and mm. uh, definitely sign up to review, sign up to be APC. It's, uh, it's what makes the technical symposium happen. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All those things are great to do. It's really good to participate. It's great to to come along and um, be part of the symposium. But it's it's really great when you when you contribute in in multiple ways because then you get lots of different experiences with people and and you learn a lot. You, know? okay. you really get more out of um, volunteering than what you put in. <laughs> yeah. We wish you the best in the program committee next year. We're looking forward Thank to the you. great program that you put together. <laughs> and we'll be watching from Thank the sidelines. <laughs> well, I've had two really great uh, people to learn from. It's been amazing. It's an amazing team. <laughs> Every year it is. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> thanks, Judy. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Pam and Alvaro. Thank you. Well, I love a little bit of self-reference. Uh, that was a little weird. Uh, thank you for tuning in to 60 Morning Coffee. Come back tomorrow for the final episode.